Hi, Mr. Heffern here, and here's a video on pressure and stress. Okay, so pressure is also sometimes known as stress, and pressure is the force per unit area. Pressure is how force is distributed over an area. The formula for calculating pressure is pressure is equal to force divided by area. So to get an idea of how pressure is different from force, uh, think of this. So here's my arm. If I push on my arm with my palm, which has a lot of area, as hard as I can for my maximum force, I can barely feel it. It doesn't hurt at all. But if I change the area by pushing with my finger, ouch, that hurts. Same force, less area, more pressure, and more dangerous in this case. So the SI unit for pressure is the Pascal. One Pascal is equal to one Newton per square meter. And the imperial unit for pressure is the pound per square inch, which is uh, commonly called the PSI. A useful unit for pressure is the atmosphere, the ATM, which is equivalent to the average air pressure of the Earth's atmosphere, which is around 101,300 pascals, or 101.3 kilopascals. When it comes to blood pressure, the first barometers, uh, or the first barometers, pressure is measured in millimeters of mercury in a tube, which is often called a TOR, or millimeters of mercury. HG is the symbol for mercury. Typical blood pressure is 120 tor over 80 tor. Um, one other commonly used pr pressure unit is the bar and the millibar, M bar. This is used in some European countries. So if you want to convert between all these various units, there's way too many, I think. Um, over here on the left here, we got uh, the, the atmosphere, which is 101.3 kilopascals, 101,300 pascals, 14.69 psi, or approximately 760 tor, or millimeters of mercury. Um, and then for millibars and bars, a thousand millibar is a bar, which is 0.9869 atmospheres, which is 100,000 pascals, or 100.0 kilopascals. So here's an example question right here. So here we got a 75 kilo worker, uh, and they're wearing, this person's wearing two shoes, 14 centimeters by 7 centimeters each shoe. And uh, using our force of gravity formula, 75 kilos times 9.8 newtons per kilo is a weight of 735 newtons. And we just want to find out how many pascals of pressure this person is putting on the ground. So we're going to use our formula, pressure is force over area, and that is 735 newtons divided by the two shoes, each shoe being 0.14 meters by 0 0.007 meters. And altogether, the pressure works out to be 37,500 pascals. So this worker is providing 37,500 pascals, or 0.375 atmospheres if we convert it to atmospheres, which um, increases the stress on the ground by about 37.5%. So now the total stress on the ground is the one atmosphere from the air plus the 0.375 from the worker. Okay, so here's another example. Uh, in this case here, we're going to use imperial units. So here we've got a, an athlete with a 68.2 kilo mass. So we're going to multiply that by 2.2 pounds per kilo, and this person weighs 150 pounds. And so they've got some boots on with a total surface area of 16 square inches between the boots and the ground. So we're going to make some calculations here. So pressure is force over area, 150 pounds divided by 16 square inches, that's 9.37 PSI. And when you divide that by the 14.69 from the other slide, that's 0.64 atmospheres. So this worker provides 9.37 at PSI, or 0.64 atmospheres, increasing the stress on the ground by around 64% for a total pressure of 1.64 atmospheres. One from the air, 0.64 from the, work, from the athlete. A little typo there. So this is a very interesting question you can do. Um, you can figure out approximately how much air we have on the planet Earth. So the average air pressure is 101.3 kilopascals. The Earth's radius, if you look, out, look it up, is 6,380 kilometers. And uh, most of the air is, is close to the ground, where gravity is around 9.8 newtons per kilo. And we just want to find out how many kilos and tons we have of air around the planet. So to find that out, we got pressure's force over area. So the force is going to be the force of gravity pulling the air down onto the ground, or towards the ground. And so that's going to be mg. So I'm going to replace force right here with mg. 
the surface area of the world, well, it's a sphere, so it's approximately 4 pi r squared. So we're going to replace that down there for the area. So now we're just going to rearrange the formula, cross multiply the 4 pi r squared over to the p side, divide the g over, flip the equation, and we get this equation here. The mass of the uh, atmosphere is 4 pi r squared times the pressure divided by g. So we have to use scientific units. So the, we got the 4 pi. The 6,380 kilometers is 6.38 million meters. I'll square that. And the 101.3 kilopascals is the 101,300 pascals. And of course, G on the planet Earth is 9.8 newtons per kilo. So when you calculate that out, we get 5.287 times 10 to the 18 kilos, divided by 1,000 kilos in a metric ton, and we get 5.287 times 10 to the 15. So uh, 10 to the 12 of the trillion, that leaves 10 of the 3 left. So altogether, we got 5,287 trillion metric tons of air or atmosphere. Now, uh, if you look up the mass of the Earth, which is 5.98 times 10 to the 24, if we divide the 5.287 times 10 to the 18 by the 5.98 times 10 to the 24, the Earth's atmosphere is approximately 0.000. 0.88% of the Earth's mass. And that's it. So, in summary, pressure is the force distribution per unit area between surfaces and contact. Sometimes we call this stress. Formula for um, pressure is force divided by area, and there are many units for pressure. Pascals, the scientific unit. Atmospheres, based on the Earth's atmosphere. PSI, the imperial unit. Tor, based on the old uh, mercury barometers. Millimeters of mercury, same thing as a tor. Millibar and bar. And I hope this has been useful for you. Uh, and good luck with your uh, calculations with pressure and stress. Don't get stressed out.